A dimension of space is basically an independent direction in which, in principle, you could move, you could walk. So when we talk about left, right, you can freely move left, right. Back, forth, you can freely move back, forth, and up, down, you can freely move up, down as well. If you consider a, a diagonal direction, that's not a new dimension because that's just a combination of moving this way and that way. So when we talk about dimensions, we're talking about the independent directions in which you can move. Another way of thinking about dimensions, they are the data that needs to be specified in order to delineate where something takes place. So if you're having a dinner party, you give your friend a street, a cross street, and a floor number. Three pieces of information to nail down a location in three dimensions of space. According to string theory, in reality, you need to give your friend more than just those three pieces of information. If you really want him or her to know where to go, you need to tell them coordinates, data that specifies where in the extra dimensions the dinner party is taking place too. But because the extra dimensions we think are so small, it doesn't matter to your friend whether they show up exactly at the right location in the extra dimensions or not because things are not able to penetrate them in any meaningful way. But that's what a dimension would be. It's a piece of data necessary to delineate where something takes place.